Welcome back to Retro Mon Gamers, this is your host Killer J here, and we're going to play some Assassin's Creed Mirage. We're going to play some Assassin's Creed Mirage on the PS5. And yes, I'm going to be doing this solo bit there. And yeah, I was I was originally supposed to do it with Mr. Cypher, but I'm going to do this solo bit. So you're going to see some solo, ge uh, solo review of Assassin's Creed Mirage for this little half there. So what I think of the game so far when I played it last night, pretty good stuff. Overall, enjoyed the gameplay. It was really fun. And I played a while ago, it was really fun too, just to learn the combat, the, the Zortax, and the assassination stuff. It's all it's all good stuff in this game. It's all fun. And I think this is right up there with Assassin's Creed 2, to be honest, because Valhalla, I did not care for Valhalla, even though it had the Viking theme. This one here feels like more traditional Assassin's Creed, which I like. It's better than Assassin's Creed 3 in my, my honest eyes. This is what Assassin's Creed game should be. Uh, celebrating 15 years of a, of a great franchise where it peaked at number 2. That's what my honest thoughts are. And this is one of the best games. It, for me, this is a, a history, historical, accurate game. And this is a fun one. And I would recommend this one if you have a PS5, a PS4, Xbox Series console, or Xbox. If it's on X1, recommend it, but you, or a PC, you have a good runnable PC. You have to be able to play this game at least once, because this is a fun game for sure. The graphics are good. They are good. The graphics and the gameplay is good. In this game, it's not, it's not terrible. They're actually good graphics. They're actually good graphics. There's actually good graphics, good gameplay, good sound audio. There's actually a good gameplay we had here. Are we there yet? Are we at the bureau? Are you off your horse? Triangle. Well, I'll get off my horse. How do I do that? Let me see. It's been a while since I played Assassin's Creed, so. Okay, I just used the O button and dismount. I just use the O button and dismount. Sound. I'll do some parkour shit there. This is just going to be a little bit of a hangout, a little bit of a review. Similar to old school RG, how the old school RG used to do the reviews, not completely correct. Just get into the antics there. Antics just, just like similar to Assassin's Creed 1 review, but it'll be way better because it's not filmed on a, it's not filmed in an awful camera angle. I don't, I didn't hate the CRT TV, it was just filmed in an awful camera angle.
the CRT TVs are good. They're, they're old school TVs there, but back then people didn't want to see a CRT TV for a cap. Oh, fuck. Shit. Shit, uh. Got it. Fuck. Crazy gameplay right there. Need some plants, sir. Pretty crazy gameplay. Overall, what was I gonna say about this game? I got a little sidetracked. Sorry about that. Uh, my bad. Okay. Like I said, gameplay is good. The main character himself in this game is really an uh, interesting protagonist there. I like his character in this game. The main, the main protagonist you play as the main, the, the new assassin you play as is good. He has an interesting backstory. And his story is where he starts as a, would be, he's basically a common thief. And he's ba he basically wants to impress this, the, the assassins, basically. He wants to, he wants to impress the other, the other assassins out there. It's pretty interesting. That's the, the gist of it. And, and this is a non politically correct game, and I like it. And I, I do like Prince of Persia, but I like Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is like, well, Assassin's Creed is something new to me, something new for me to play in a while because I haven't played last time I played Assassin's Creed it has been a while like like a true Assassin's Creed game was number two this here is a true Assassin's Creed game this is not a, a Cobby Carpet game it's not a generic Assassin's Creed game it's not what Viking is actually about getting back to the roots of what the series what made the series really good the combat the gameplay the story the lore the characters, all that stuff, what made Assassin's Creed what it was, that's what the game focused on. The game had good strengths to it, it had a good story, a good plot, it had good points, it had a lot of stuff in it that made you want to buy a game like this. And this is a, a must have recommendation, I say. If you haven't seen it already, if you haven't seen my review of it, if you haven't, if you haven't seen reviews of it, I say try it out if, you're, if you've been been turned off by Assassin's Creed games the past couple of installments this will get you right back up to speed this will get you right back in not get you back up to speed but this will get you back into Assassin's Creed basically this will get you back into the series and this will make you fall in love with the series once again for its 15 year anniversary so I want to say thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video game review I don't you know I just want to say thank you to the viewers out there I want this to be my best solo review it was a fun time doing this. It was, a, it was an interesting time. So yeah. Coming up next. More reviews. And I want to say thank you viewers out there for watching the content. I appreciate it a whole lot. Because you made Retro Mahon Gears what it, what it is today. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Alright. Peace out. Later. And my, my rating on this game is a 9 out of 10. Later. A close second Assassin's Creed 2. A second tier game. Uh, uh, ranks at number two as the second best Assassin's Creed game. Alright, later.